Run the record on case D10426391. Woolard versus Clemens. Sir, what is your name? Robert Woolard. You're going to represent yourself today? Yes, sir. Ma'am? Nicole Clemens. Representing yourself? Yes. Well, last time I think you both agreed to a six month, six month split. Right. What has happened since then? You were supposed to go to family mediation to try to get something in writing and. We didn't agree to um, any of it, actually. Well, no. she, she said two months, two months go back back and forth for two months and I said the only thing I'm going to agree on is he goes to school with me and goes to the summer with her and that's that's what she wants well, okay how old is the child four. four okay well how does six months six months equal to nine months and three months well it, it's you know he's enrolled in school he's been going to school for two years um, well, why, why did you guys tell me six months and six months last time? I agreed to it. He didn't agree to it in mediation. But were you here last time? Yes, sir. And didn't you tell me it was six months, six months? Um, that's what I that's what I said in court. And then w once I left, I called mediation and I told her that um, I realized what I said. She don't even as after I thought about it, she don't have an a firm house that she lives in. I mean, I don't I don't know. And uh, the house that she does live in, that I believe she lives in, is with her ex. And uh, the court, she's got a court order that the kids aren't supposed to be, he's just supposed to have um, visitation rights, supervised visitations for one hour with the kids. And she's gone ahead and blew that. And well, so I. the child living and with whom? Right now? Yeah. He's, he he's with me. I've tried to, um, I went to his school the other day. He told me he wasn't at school. I went to the school. The school wouldn't let me see him. They wouldn't let me talk to the teacher, and they wouldn't let me see the classroom. Are you getting any visitation? Um, I've supervised. He wouldn't let me take the baby without, without him being present. <laughs> I, I didn't want to cause a scene. I didn't want to call the police. I am, because according to the last, the last, um, our last court date, uh, it was still, I was, under the impression that it was still three and a half days, three and a half days, technically speaking, although he, I gave him the first six months, we had nothing in writing um, for it. And so when I went to go see the school and talk to the teacher, um, the school would not let me see, see the teacher, would not let me see my son. They, he told me he wasn't in school because he didn't feel good, couldn't tell me why he didn't feel good. And, um, and I wasn't, I mean, I didn't, wasn't allowed to talk to anybody. And I wanted to su see the classroom and, and oversee the, you know, what was going on in the classroom, whether he was there or not. And they, I wasn't allowed to do any of it. <laughs> First of all, she called me when I was at work and told me that she had to go back to California. I says, okay, well, if you can wait, I'll let you see the class and everything because she's already checked him out once and I caught her. Wait, wait, one at a time, please. And, okay. I, and I caught him in the car with her ex getting ready to go to California. And I'm like, oh my God, you know? I went to school to check him out, and she's already went there, checked him out. I don't, I honestly don't trust her about bringing him back, and um, the environment that he's around is is definitely not. Um, Where do you live, ma'am? I live with my mother in California. Um, I've never checked him out and taken him to California. They're the only ones that have not followed the court orders. Is that side? I have the court orders. Oh, wait, sir. Okay, I'm you sorry. Don't want it to okay, yes, sir. The school told yeah. me that the grand that the grandmother told them that there was different court orders and that I wasn't allowed to see my son. And um, like I told you the last time when we left this courtroom, it's all good right here. He'll say okay, okay, okay. But when we leave this courtroom, it's a different story. He doesn't let he doesn't let me he doesn't agree he doesn't follow the, the well, what court. What what are you asking for orders. right now on a temporary basis? I, I guess we're going to have to have a hearing, but on a temporary basis, what are you asking for for visitation? For visitation, I wanted to be, we had discussed the last time, I wanted to be able to, since he had the first six months, I wanted to be able to see him whenever I come into town and, and with prior notice. And I can't even see him by myself. He can't even spend the night with me, at, at, you know, where I'm staying at. So how much notice are you going to give prior, you said prior notice, how much? Um, I've... It would, uh, it depends on, I, I don't know. I guess. A week? A week? No, I mean, I didn't, no, I didn't give a week notice. No, but can you give a week? Oh, yes, I can give a week notice. And when you come into town, how long do you stay? 
Um, I came in for um for a different for a different um event that I had to go to. So I only was only staying. But in the future, when you come in to see the child, what are you what are you talking about for visits? Um. It would be just a, a couple of days. I probably wouldn't be coming into town to visit. Um, I, I would probably wait because my day's coming up. Like for Thanksgiving, I'd like to pick him up and take him back to to my family's house. Um, for Christmas, I would like to pick him up and take him back to my family's house. Okay, what are you talking about in California? Yes. Okay. Let's let's quit jumping around. Let's talk about regular visits right now, and then we'll talk about the holidays. Okay. So you're going to get one week's notice, you're saying, and you're going to come in for a couple of days. Um, yes, but aren't we switching at Christmas time? Aren't we switching that to the next six months? Well, is there an order? No, but that's what we had agreed upon last time. That's what we were deciding this time. He got the first six months, and I was supposed to get the next six months. <laughs> okay. Well, that's what I've been asking about because that's what everybody told me last time was six months, six months. And I had agreed to it knowing you that You got I the was... first six months. Yeah. I've gotten three months. Yes, I have. Okay. Not even three. Actually, it's been two months. From, from when to when? Um, it was um, from uh, September, um, what was it, uh, 16th or 19th? Oh. Oh. Sir, I didn't see my son for two months when... Wait, you, you, you guys are... You need to listen to me and speak one at a time. Yes, sir. Or you won't be able to speak e at all. Okay. Your six months begin... Uh, it says here her six months were supposed to begin in January. Is that right? If if I don't get six months, I mean that's six months would have been in March, actually six months. But you, you did say uh, in January sometime. Okay. And are we still doing six months and six months? No. What are we doing? We're going to have a hearing. Yes. And the reason? The reason is because she's unstable. I don't know where she's living. I don't know. Um, you know, her, I mean, the other two kids really aren't my concern, but where are they going to school from? I mean, from her, from their parent, his, their father's house, that's not even supposed to be visiting. I mean, he, she, she's talking about not following court orders. I can, I got proof here showing you that she doesn't follow court orders. She's um, submitted court papers to the court saying that we switch days. She got a notarized stamp that's forged, my signature that's forged, and I let her go last time because she said she wouldn't take the baby out of Clark County at all. Where, where are you living in California? I live at my mother's house, the baby's grandmother's house. What is the address? 1645 Steinhardt Avenue. Um, wait, wait, so give it to my clerk so she can write it down. I've Repeat given it this, again. I've given them this address over and over okay, again. Just give it to my clerk. Um, he doesn't at my the my court orders for my for my other kids it's it's whether it is it protects me I reunited my kids with their father um, doesn't mean they can't see him um, and okay now what are we going to do about Thanksgiving sir um I was going to go um, I have uh, papers from uh, drug court and uh, from my probation officer that uh, I was going to go down there for Thanksgiving. And where's that, where? Where's that? it with my daughter here. Where? And uh, it's in uh, Torrance. I have to go to California and in Torrance, California. Right. We were going to stay two days. Excuse me, sir. Okay. Also, I mean, he violates his um, probation. I don't want to hear all this. Well, what is he going to? What are you going to do about Thanksgiving? We're talking about Thanksgiving. Okay, Thanksgiving. Right? I would like to see my son. I haven't seen my son. He won't let my son spend the night with me. I mean, I would like to have the holidays with my son. He's been with him for the last. Um, well, it was two months, June and July. Two months. I didn't see my child when they just withdrew him from school and kept him from me. Um, when are you going to California, sir? <sighs> On the twenty-sixth. Plus, I haven't seen him since then. No, what's November 26th? Yes, sir. 
or I want her to see the child for Thanksgiving. But you know, our, that's uh, November 26th is a Tuesday. And when do you plan on come back? 28th. Thanksgiving. Can you stay longer so you can, she can see the child? I already um, submitted the papers to my okay. um, probation officer. Can you bring the child back then, ma'am, on, on December 1st if you get the child on the 28th? Um, I, I, December 1st is a Sunday. I don't, I don't know that I can. Um, just like him, I'm not, I'm not supposed to, I'm not supposed to leave the state without written permission. Yeah. You two guys are real winners, I guess, huh? Uh, mine was fine. Okay. You're going to go to 26, right? Yes, sir. What time? Um, we'll be leaving like, uh, midnight. Midnight to 26. Correct. And you're going to be over there the 27th and 28th. Correct. And you're coming back the 28th at one time. Um, it'll probably be about midnight. I mean, oh, we'll probably be back in by midnight. Uh, so we'll probably be leaving about, what, six? Well, I would like her, does she know where you're going to be in Torrance? Yes, she's been there. You, can you get to Torrance to see the child? Yes, I can pick up my, my child. Okay, so you'll go to Torrance to, to pick up the child on the 27th of November at... If he can stay with me till the 1st, I, I mean, I can meet them halfway to bring him back. Because that's, I mean, originally we had decided that we were going to meet halfway to, to drop off my child. And what's halfway? Barstow. Can she pick up the child on the 28th at 7 p.m. and keep him then till Sunday? In, um, how, uh, right. What, what do you want? I would like to see my, my son for the holidays just like he would. Okay. He's had him this whole time. <laughs> I've, excuse me? I mean, uh, like last Christmas, that's what I, you know, the, Sir, the paper. come on, please. No, I, mean, I don't she, want to talk about last Christmas. I want to talk about this Thanksgiving. Well, she's crying about she doesn't see him on the holidays. That's when she takes the baby and goes to California. Okay, so we're going to, I'm not going to do the whole case okay. today. Yes, okay, yes, sir. So... I give you guys plenty of time to try to figure something out, try to explain things to me. We get someplace, and then you, we, you can't do it on the first. Yes, I can do it on the first, but I don't want to do it on the first. I want to do it on Thanksgiving Day. Yes. So you do it the way I tell you to do it, and you both do it the, the way I order you to do it, because I try to set up something so you both can try to explain what you want, and you keep changing it. So on December 27, he'll be in town. On a Wednesday, December. You write the, Are you writing this down, or are you just gonna guess what I told you? No, it's it's November, right? You said December. You got a paper and pen. You got a paper and pen. And we're going to need a trial date, so if you could start looking for one after we give out this information. November 27th, it's a Wednesday. He'll be in town by midnight or that morning, so you'll have the child from 5. Uh, let's make that 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock. You pick up the child at Torrance, where he's at, and you drop off the child Wednesday from 4 to 8. The next day is Thanksgiving, which is Thursday. You'll have the child on Thursday, November 28th. From 3 o'clock to 8 p.m. So 
So you'll have them Wednesday from 4 to 8 p.m. and on Thanksgiving Day from 3 to 8 p.m. Both times you mom will pick up the child in Torrance, keep the child for those period of time, and return the child to dad at 8 p.m. Dad will return back to uh, Nevada when he comes back, I guess, midnight, November 28th. I don't want to have any problems in California. I don't want to have any issues to hurt not getting a child on Wednesday at 4 o'clock and on Thursday at 3 o'clock. Yes, sir. For uh, December, she can see the child in Nevada, in Las Vegas, if she gives you one week's notice. Okay. You send him an email what days you're going to be in town. You can have the child while you're in town only. You understand? In December. Now for Christmas, what are we doing for Christmas this year? Are you going to California again for Christmas? No, sir. So when do you celebrate Christmas? The whole day, Christmas Eve? Usually Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, you know. Okay. You will have the child till 4 p.m. on December 25th. Mom will pick up the child here in Las Vegas at 4 p.m. and keep the child from December 25th, 4 p.m. until Sunday, December 29th. You must return the child back to dad. On December 29th, you two will meet to exchange this child in Barstow at the McDonald's. You will meet there at, at uh, 5 p.m. on December 29th. So she picks up the child. She has, she has to come all the way here, pick up the child from your house on Christmas Day at 4 p.m. Sure. She will keep the child till December 29th at 5 p.m. You two will, she will bring the child to Barstow and you will meet her there at 5 p.m. to pick up the child. Yes, sir. So do we have Thanksgiving? and Christmas set now. Yes, sir. And anytime she would call you and say, she gives you seven days notice, I'm coming to see the child in Las Vegas. She can come and see the child for 48 hours. Yes, sir. And we're gonna have a hearing uh, to see who, who uh, has this child and why uh, you cannot share the child with the other person. And, and the trial will be Your Honor, I have one date that's available in January, so we'll get that earlier, but other than that, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, January. And you guys can, as your child, you two can work this out. I mean, she doesn't live in Connecticut. She lives in California, and she's living in her mom's house. That's what she says. That's what she says. In, excuse me, sir. Can I speak now? In the meantime... You haven't been able to speak before? I didn't say that. Okay, go ahead. Um, in the meantime, um, I've been without my child this whole time. Is it, I mean, I was wondering if my six months start, um, I, it's kind of hard to keep a job having to come We don't have forward. an agreement. So there is no six months, six months. There is so no why, agreement. Why is the baby uh, staying with him then? He's going to have the baby until January, unless you two reach an agreement. We're coming back January. January 24th. I was wondering why, because I gave him the first six months because I was under the impression I would get well, the baby Well, his six months that. are not up till March. They've had the baby since June. I, they kept the baby from me for two months. I didn't see my child. <laughs> two months withdrew him from school. Um, I had. He said he didn't have the baby till September. No, he's had the baby. I had, couldn't find my baby. I had to file police reports. I had to. I couldn't. I, have you had the child since June? I've had the the child since almost last Christmas when she left us, and she didn't arrive. She didn't. I didn't see her for six months. He was or six called months. or her. Her, yes, he but you had the baby. Yes, he yes, did. I, yes. Stayed, I stayed with him a week right before he went to jail. He went to jail, and that's why my kid was taken and hidden from me. Their kid, they hid the car from me. They, he, I mean, the grandma hid the car, hid the car, um, acted like they weren't there. I sent police over there. I, I'm, okay, so. Um, I mean, I've, I've been, that's why I've been waiting for my six months. They've had the baby. I, I go without the baby. She, excuse me. It wasn't. It wasn't our. It wasn't our choice for her not to have the baby. She left us. That's okay. what she did. Okay. So we're done with that. Yes, sir. So we're, let's concentrate on what we do in the future. Yes, sir. 
you were in jail, so let's forget about that as well. Let's concentrate on the future. Yes, sir. And you didn't have the baby when you were in jail. Your mom had the baby. Yes. And your mom didn't let real mom have the baby while you were in jail. But let's all forget about all that, and let's concentrate on what we're going to do in the future. And what we had an agreement in September that you, you were going to have the child from June, your six months, from June until the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So... So I'll, I'll give her her, her her six months of starting January, but we have a trial when? January 24th, 9.30 statute. You guys have that time for the trial? January 24th at uh, what time? 9.30. Thank you. What about his schooling? Is he, what, in daycare? Yes, sir. He's been there well, for two years. Why you tell me about his schooling when you agreed to the six months? Tell me what you were thinking. They have the same. Wait! Time. Another word, you're going to begin custody for a couple of days here. So you tell me what you were thinking when you agreed when, to what six I was, months and six months. What I was thinking was her other two kids. That I, that's what I was, really was thinking, that she's been down here for two months. Um, her and my mom, you know, not the best of words to each other. Your child's in preschool, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so it's not, a, it's not kindergarten, it's not first grade. So... Are you going to put the child in school over there for the next six months? In the same school, yes, sir. What same school? Acelero Learning Center. They have a head start in California as well. Okay. And it's not really six months because we're coming back for trial when? January 24th at 930. Okay. And then we'll settle the matter if we can. You guys can settle the matter before then. Um, He's going to pick up the child December 29th, like we agreed, and he's going to keep the child until you come and pick up the child in Barstow on December 1st or December 2nd. Which day do you want to pick up the child? I mean, January 1st or January 2nd? January 1st, please. January 1st, child will be picked up by dad December 29th in Barstow. He'll keep the child till January 1st at 5 p.m., and then he'll exchange the child with mom on 5 p.m. at Barstow. Mom will bring, keep the child till she comes to trial, and she'll bring the child back to trial. So and you two can talk about this in mediation if you want, or we'll have the trial in January, and we'll decide. And we'll have plenty of time then, not today, to present the whole case as to, you know, why mom or dad needs to be eliminated from a child's life when they're both been in the child's life for, you know, the first four years of the child's life. So what are we doing about the days that we, on? Um, we're still doing this thing, uh, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving thing, Thanksgiving, everything. And we're still doing the Christmas thing. And okay. then on Chris, uh, she's picking up the child and she's going to keep the child till December 29. And then on December 29, she's bringing the child back to you. Okay. You will keep the child till January 1st. And then you would give her the child back at 5 p.m. So everything remains the same. We just added one more trip on January 1st. So she'll, her period with the child will start in California. And she'll come back for the trial. And she must bring the child back when we have the trial. And you, are you sure you know where you're going to pick up the child in Torrance? Yes, I do. Okay. Um. Okay, thank you. Two weeks before trial, if you have any documents you want to see, you need to give them to the other side. You exchange documents two weeks before trial. And if you're going to have any witnesses, you need to put them on a piece of paper, their names, addresses, and phone numbers, and you give the other side the list of witnesses you're going to call at trial. Are these documents that you haven't already received? Everything is going to be all, everything, all and new, whatever you want to show me. If you already filed it before, list them on the, on the documents again. Okay. So everything. Full records, medical records, anything you would like, criminal records, whatever you want to show me. And, you know, I, you guys are making this very difficult for yourselves because, uh, unless you can prove there's a, a complete disaster on the other side, both parents 
are going to have time with the child. I'm not trying to take time from her at all. Okay. Oh, maybe I got mistaken. Maybe I was listening to a different case. I'm not. I'm really okay. not. Thank you. I, I would never try to keep her from her, her son. Okay, so well, maybe you guys can reach an agreement between now and then so we don't have to come back and spend a whole day in this courtroom listening to witnesses. Is there a higher sir? Thank you. So are you wait in the back, wait five minutes till she leaves. Okay, no problem. Okay. Thank you. Can we call the next case? <laughs>